back again look at that holy smokes batman uh there's the cars let's go today's show what a fun day this is right thanks for joining us here um we actually did a show this morning and we're very excited to bring back uh, an update on this show i had so many calls and emails and responses and you go tell us more tell us more and we got a little convoluted so uh, if you get a chance go to our website that's over here uh, we'll bring that over here and you know at dub 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 where is that there we go uh, talkingcars.com you'll see us live today at um, in Schaumburg and it's saying slow internet and restart the stream but hey you know what we're doing the best we can right so let's just go with that uh, but I had so many calls and emails and phone calls go Steve we listen to your show saw your show and you know it, I really didn't get it so this is a special edition of Talking Cars, even with my glasses on because it's late in the night right now. And if you get a chance, go to www.talkingcars.com and subscribe to our email. only comes out once a month, once a month. And we're going to ask you to become a member for $1, uno, uno, not dos, uno, $1 a month, cancel any time. And we'll send you invitations to special events we're going to. Uh, last year, we were in Hinsdale with the uh, Range Rover, Land Rover people. Um, we had Lamborghinis, Benton Yaga, uh, crazy stuff that nobody else can knows, knows about except you know those people who are trying to look at those crazy cars. Maybe you wanna see a Veyron. Uh, maybe you wanna see the new Ferrari. Maybe you wanna see the new Honda Pilot. So at least you know subscribe to the email, but let's get in today's show. Our today's show is how to buy a car new car or used car at a dealership for dummies and friends in 2019. And I'm going to say that twice, how to buy a new or used car at a dealership for dummies and friends in 2019. The reason I tell you that story is that um, I met a person uh, about a year ago up at the Starbucks. And I'll, I'll make it short. He's telling me he's buying and selling a Cadillac. Uh, then he bought a Crossfire. And then come up to date to this Thursday, and he says to me, um, you know, I'm trying to buy this Volkswagen. Too bad you don't know anybody like that. So I got to tell people three or four or five times. The whole thing about our site, if you go to our site over here at TalkingCars.com and you scroll down, I'm going to put that over here real quick, uh, and you just tap on any one of those manufacturers, that'll take you to one of our preferred dealers. Let me get that back in there. That's one. So if you tap on BMW, we'll have one, two, three, four dealers in there from all, all over uh, the area. I mean, we're starting in Chicago. You got Joe Perillo BMW. You got Fields BMW. Uh, you got Patrick BMW. And you got Bill Jacobs BMW. Now, that should get you close. But, Steve, I want to go to Napleton BMW. Okay, well, we know them, too. So send me an email at steve at talkingcars.com. You know, or call into our show on Saturday where you can call in if you're a member, if you're a member for $1 a month, and talk. I mean, we just had, uh, holy smokes, Batman, John McElroy from Autoline TV on. But let's get back to the show. So we're going to be talking about how to buy a new or used car at a dealership, and it always comes down to who do you know. So I'm going to start this, and this was this year's uh, 2018 show at McCormick Place, uh, which will be there, down there again, uh, hopefully on February 14th. Please join us. And uh, on the WLS Channel 7 stage right there. And uh, stop by, and it's going to be dedicated to the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines this year, to all veterans. God bless them for everything they do. Godspeed. Uh, I'll be home for Christmas, if only in my dreams. So number one, get out a pen and paper. Write this down. I'm a little excited to talk to you about it. And the, the whole object here is... I'm telling you, get a pen and paper. Okay, okay. Zoom back out. There we go. All right. Got the pen and paper? Okay. Three simple things you should do when looking to buy a new or pre-driven vehicle. Number one, set a budget. Well, wait a minute, Steve. Um, you know, uh, my car is paid for, or my payment's $350 a month, so it's going to be $350. Really? Okay, we're going to dive deep into that for a little bit, but not right now. Number two, know if you're trading in a vehicle, know how 
to look for what the dealer is going to give you and it will be the wholesale price. Yeah, but you know, I see my car on the lot and it's, you know, it's $15,000 and I went through this conversation with the young man Bob and uh he said, "Well, Steve, um they're offering me 10,000, but they're going to sell it for for 14." Okay, Bob. Well, they probably don't always get it if you watch Rick at uh, Harris, Rich Harris at um, Pawn Stars. You know, we might give you the ten, but what if for any reason there's you know something wrong with that car, unbeknownst to them, and they don't get it and they hold it for a year? Now what? Well, that's their problem. Oh, so for people in business, you all are certainly going to understand that you know a car dealership is a business. Uh, we were at Schomburg Honda today. Uh, Gene Shankman was there, uh, uh, Kurt Wil Wil Wilmer was there, uh, Jim Martinez was not in. Ryan Norman started there when he came out of uh, college, and his brother. And, uh, and, and the Norman group has always been very nice to me. So has Joe Perillo. So has Paul Tamaraz. Um, uh, Bill Jacobs uh, the second, and uh, he, he's gone, but his son, Bill Jacobs the third, when I'm down at Autobahn Country Club. But... You know, they're going to give you the fair market value and they're taking a risk or a gamble. The market could change any day. You know, stories come out about my manufacturers, you're making model recalls, boom. What they thought was worth 10000 is now worth seven. So, you know, try to think like that. If your car's paid for, that's fine. Number three, if you go to our website, put that over here, and you click on one of these dealers, you'll have a, a choice like at Dodge. If you click on Dodge, uh, it might take you to Ziegler Dodge and talk to Joe St. Germain. Uh, if you go to Chevrolet, it might take you to Chuck Villavanti or uh, Jeremy Stasek at Stasek Chevrolet or all the way down to Denny Guest at SouthOak.com. Um, who knows out there? You want a Corvette? You go to Brent Baker. So, you know, all of these uh, cars that are up here, these are real people that you can talk to. And that's what I found on Thursday, which which really frustrates me. When I'm talking to y'all, I mean, the, the logisticals of, out of all of this is, you know, what, what is working for you? What can work for you? You know, we understand all that. But you're going to see all the new cars when you go there. Oh, there you go. I want the slingshot. Okay, that's an that's a open-air motorcycle with a seat. Okay, it's nothing but a big trike. It's a beautiful vehicle. 20, 30 grand, it's all yours. I mean, you can see all the cars that are in here. And it's like, but you got to follow the basics. One, two, three. And then we're going to dive into them just a little bit. We're not going to take all night. But I had to update this because of all the responses I got. Oh, I was slammed. And 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 we did one of our last shows got 10,000 views in a week. Oh, my God. And downloads. I'm like, holy smoke. What's going on here? So people really do want to know uh, how to buy a car. Who do I talk to? Excuse me. <coughs> Too much coffee today out there at... Uh, on Golf Road, and they're going. What do I do? So let's just let's just dive into that right now. Now a little while back, um, I was talking with uh, Brent Baker up at uh, Corvette City there, a uh, Stasek Chevrolet, and my son was looking to sell his car, and he goes, "Why does he want to sell it?" He goes, "Well, he wants to. Get, it's not sure actually he's going to be deployed to Afghanistan. Just wants to get rid of it, and then when he gets back, get something else." Okay, uh, and what happened there was uh, they were willing to give him X amount of dollars. And he says, yeah, that's kind of what I owe for it. He goes, well, by the way, we actually know somebody, you know, in our list. We keep a we keep a, a, a list, uh, a data list. It's actually looking for that year, make and model, and the LT3 option that you do have. And uh, he says, you know, I says, well, are you going to give him a call? He says, well, no, hold on. He goes, here's his number. I go, oh, you guys don't want to buy his car and sell it back to us? He goes, well, no, if you guys can make a deal. You know, that's good for you, right? That's what you're looking for. And so we're going to get into that uh, about making an appointment with the right person. Somebody you know, somebody you can trust. I know if I go out and see Mick Austin, a uh, friend of Basil Terrabeans up here at Remax, and I, I worked for Paul Tamaraz back in the 80s on Cook Street, and Bob Satlow and Dennis Mellick and, you know, uh, all these people up there. I mean, I, I go back, okay, F&I, Croak and Choke, all the good stuff. And all the Chicago Bears would come in there. They'd walk in, and they'd say, I want to see that car. we flip them the keys and bring it back if you want it. You don't want it, just leave it in the lot and bring the keys in, and thank you. 
That's the relationship you're looking for. Problem is now, it, what uh, John McElroy had said, the average car owner owns a car that's an average of about 12 years old. And if you go buy Midas Muffler, any of these uh, uh, company automotive aftermarket companies, it has a sign up there, 200,000 miles or more. That's where we're going. Well, back in the day, uh, I used to do a lot of Highline cars in a 19... Uh, 89 Mercedes Benz 560 SL would come in, Pel uh, signal red, Pelomino interior, black top, gorgeous, no miles on the car, and the people were tired of the color. And they had a book. Now, back in the day, we had a book and microfiche. You know what that is? Okay, I got you, right? But you open up the service book, it was stamped, it was certified, the mechanic's name was on there. 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, 250,000. They had badges on them. Well, today it's all electronic. No big deal, right? But when you go to turn in your car and they say, well, we can look it up and now we can pull it on Carfax by the, by the license plate. So let's go back into setting a budget. What's involved? Number one, what's wrong with your car? Holy smokes, Batman. What on God's earth is wrong with your car? It's old. It's dirty. It's junk. Yeah, you don't take care of it, meatball. Or Mr. Dummy or Miss Dummy? Yeah, I know. Well, it's old and I, you know, my parents gave it to me or I bought it for, you know, $5,000 and I've had it for five years. Okay, you got your money's worth. You know, well, it's got to be worth something to somebody. Okay, well, go online, sell it. And we're talking about a budget now. Well, I really don't want a car pan. Hmm. Okay, so now you're thinking about Lyft or are you going to call the Honda or the Chevy dealership and say, can I rent a car for the weekend? Well, think about that, right? Uh, if you have an American Express Silver card, you get a $15 credit every month and $20 in December. So it may not be for you. A new, whole new market opening up in there. But the budget, the budget, the budget. If you're not thinking, if you're thinking that your payment was $350 and I'll keep it at $350, why don't you turn it down a little bit and say, what can I get for $250? You know, and it's like, well, no, I am 37 years old. I'm a marketing manager. Uh, my wife makes more money than me, and we really want this vehicle. And we just don't know if we want a new one or buy a pre-driven one. What's your budget? Well, we have a couple hundred thousand dollars, you know, in the bank. We had a pension plan. Our parents passed away. They gave us a little bit of money. Okay, you're qualified. Go look at anything you want. The problem today is most people just walk in, they're frustrated, and they say, oh, just give me that one. And then about a week later, they go, I really wanted the dark blue one. You know, don't give it up. But during the budget crisis here, you've got to be thinking to yourself, what do I want to do? Excuse me. <coughs> Can you give me a glass of water? Appreciate it. So it's a live show, right? Budget, budget, budget. Your insurance right now may only be $50 or $100 a month on your pre-driven car. Your new car is going to be more. Oh, how much more? Call your agent. Uh, my, my, uh, uh, my, one of my good agent friends is at State Farm, and his name's Michael Jordan. He's in Richmond Park. Hi, Michael. And, you know, you call the guy... <laughs> Great guy, uh, you know, uh, he's a friend of the family. But call your insurance agent and say, I'm looking at these cars. What do you think it'll be? And you know what they're going to say to you? I'm glad you called. Um, how's your house insurance? How's your health insurance? How's your life insurance? Yeah, our friend Jack McInerney always says he's got a special thing going with uh, don't be that guy, new brides for 2019. We'll have him on the show next month. Look at the insurance. What kind of gas, gas does it get? I bought a car years ago. I go, wow, I really like it. That's cool. And I had a regular little, you know, four-cylinder, 200 horsepower, blah, blah, blah. I got this car. I go to the gas store. I open the tank. Premium only. Oh. Um, okay. Well, I pulled up to the gas station one day, and I, I looked at the woman of the cars that I was driving before. And I said, you know, I really miss that car. And she says, no, you don't. You missed the gas mileage. So know what you're getting into about that budget, 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 number one. You can always take that car and go across. There are so many beautiful vehicles out there today. And if you go here and you look at the BMW, you look at the Chevrolet, you look at the GMC, you look at the Infiniti, the Nissan, look at race cars, look at the Corvette, the Jeep. There are tons of vehicles out there. And you have to find one in your budget. And you always see those lease ads. For $149 a month with $3,000 down. Okay, what if I don't put $3,000 down plus tax? Well, my car's got to be worth something. Again, go to KBB 
uh, go to eBay, go to Edmunds, go to any online service and buy the Carfax for your car and know exactly what you're dealing with. And we're going to cross that in the later part of the segment. But take a look at your car and your budget is, and I had one of my cars looked at a couple of years ago. I have a few cars. And they said, Steve, it's going to be about $6,000 if we do everything right. And, and of course, you know, you're cleaning the air cleaners and, you know, whatever they're doing, sanitizing the air inside the cleaners. And that was $250. I go, wow. Now, can I do that? Oh, sure you could. Do you want to do it? Probably not. Tires today. Plan on spending $600 for a set of tires. Balancing and get the road hazard uh, insurance for the side, sidewall. Uh, brakes, 600 bucks. Brakes and rotors. That's it. Uh, shocks, $500. Yeah, but they're only $39. You ever try to put a shock in a wheel well? You have to take the, uh, the spring out. Do you know how to do that? Do you have the tools? Probably not. Uh, belts, got to replace that serpentine belt every three to four years. Just do it. And a battery, the battery will always go bad in the summertime when you're on vacation. Not the winter. It's kind of bad. So all of a sudden, look at it real quick. Well, Steve, that's $3,000. This car is 10 years old. It has 150,000 miles on it. I've been getting away with it for a while. Now in my job, I gotta get, I'm got to get. i in sales. i got to get to and from uh, from work. And I want something dependable. And how do I know what my car is worth? Go to KBB, go to Edmunds, go to any of the services online and look at the fair market value. Fair market value. That's the wholesale cost. doesn't matter if your car has 10,000 miles on it and, and, and you know it's showroom condition. That car is 10 years old. You might get an extra thousand out of it. So if the bottom line on that car is, let's say, $10,000, and this is what, what what spawned me about this young man. Well, it's not a young man, but my, my the acquaintance I know at Starbucks, he said, my daughter-in-law's 2013 Beetle is nice, but she just wants the last one. The last one they built, he said, was in 2018. You know, I can't keep up on every make and model. So I said, okay. And I, he said he found it in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And I go, okay, that's good. Um, he goes, but the guy will only give me 10000 online. And he said, I sent him videos. I sent him pictures. I sent him the Carfax. He goes, you know, he's going to sell for like fourteen. And he goes, I just don't want to go up there. And then he's going to tell me I'm only going to give you nine. Well, you know, that's the business. And it's not that they're being deceitful. But, you know, you for, kind of forgot to tell them you had the rear quarter panel redone when they pulled the Carfax. Yours is a year old, and you had a fender bender last year, no airbags deployed. You know, they're going to pull a new one. Well, I have this one from last year, nothing's changed. Yeah. And the other side is you're looking at a car. They're going to take a picture of it. If you take a look at it right here, even on your iPhone or, or Galaxy, whatever you have on a smartphone, that resolution, you take a picture of it, you can literally see a difference in color on the car if it's been repainted. That's how clear and crisp those cameras are. That's why I like this iPhone 7. I'm not getting paid for this, but it has dual lenses, and we, we've actually done shows on this uh, cell phone. It's amazing. Now we got the Mevos. Thank you, Ray Shulseth, and uh, 1012media.com in Glenview. I think it's 1762 John, John Street, Glenview 60025. Another friend of ours, uh, Mary Crittenden from All American Girl. Um, and the reason I bring her name up, everybody knows somebody in the car business, but we don't. Why? Because this man's telling me, he goes, I would have come to you, Steve, but you only know people with Ford and Chevys. Obviously, he didn't go to our website, okay, back over here, and clicked on one of the four dealers we know at Volkswagen. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, people forget. You only do this once, what, 10 years now, 12 years? So remember, you've got the budget set. And start looking, and you can you can Google your heart out, anything you want to, or Bing, or Planet, or Microsoft, whatever you have out there, uh, as Richard Rollins would say on Gas Monkey. You know, the interwebs are cool. So do your work, but the bottom line is the bottom line. It's going to really get the wholesale fair market value a fair condition. You might get an extra 1000 if it's pristine. <coughs> Excuse me. That's it. No big secret. So now we know we decided we're not going to repair the car. We have a budget. It's at $300 a month. We know the insurance is going up $50. Bucks. Got that. So maybe we'll look at a car now for, for $250 because our budget was $3. See how quickly that went? So all of a sudden, we're not getting the top-of-the-line Mercedes. You know, we might go into a Series 1 model on a BMW for a $319 a month. <coughs> I'm so sorry. But it is a live show, so we're not going to stop. So we got the budget now, we got the insurance, we go to there, 
And now what do we do? Here we go. We want a Dodge Charger. So we go right over here to Dodge. We click on Dodge and it takes us right to, if I can click on this here. We do that. And it's going to load a um, one of our shows. We'll just click that back here a little bit. And our interwebs are really acting up, but that's okay. You, you see the, the train of thought we're doing here. Uh, I just reloaded Honda um, and Ford. So if we go to Ford or Chevrolet here, and as soon as you go to Chevrolet, who do you see? Well, you see Brent Baker from Stasek Chevrolet, and you go, wow, maybe I should um, call Brent Baker at Stasek Chevrolet and make an appointment. They have Chevrolet cars, Chevrolet trucks. Now you know somebody, and you know me. They know you're coming from me and the Soldiers Family TV and radio talk show. Not only will they treat you well, they'll treat you the best they can. And, and that's what people forget. I had a friend again, and so the end of the story was with this person. I said, well, tell you what, just drive over to that Volkswagen dealership. Well, I don't want to bother anybody. I know, but you're willing to dra drive four hours to Oshkosh, Wisconsin? When you have, I mean, in 25 miles, you have 20 Volkswagen dealerships, if you want to count them. Well, that's the car I want. Well, they can dealer trade for it. Well, I don't want to wait. I want it now. Okay. That's where you're going to lose money. And as in anything, a dealer will hold on to a car if it's a special color like a Corvette. Uh, in the Sebring Orange, I think it's called, uh, it was 0.07% of uh, 10,000 cars. What is that? 70 cars? 1%? Yeah. 10% uh, would be 1,000. So this is like 70 cars were made in Sebring Orange in 2000 and. Uh, in 18, 18 or 19, I forget. My point being is that if the car is unique to a degree, it's going to demand more money. You have a convertible. They have a convertible. Let's make a deal. Now you're talking to Brent Baker, and he started there right out of school. He works with Jeremy Stasek. Asked to meet Jeremy Stasek. Go to Lexus in Arlington. Asked to talk to Marson. Go to Acura uh, in Palatine and ask to meet uh, Chase Rohrman, uh, Bob Rohrman's grandson. Uh, go to Joe Perillo, and if he's not there, you can say Joe's a friend of mine. I called him. He said for me to talk to you. And this happened again just a couple of years ago. A friend of mine from Hawaii has a place there and one in Phoenix. Said, hey, uh, my husband and I are in town, and we actually did a show for Joe Perillo at the BMW dealership on him and his wife. And long story short, he goes, well, we're in town today. We just want to trade in our BMW 650 and just get a, a normal two-door hardtop. He says, can you call Joe for me? I go, you know Joe Perillo. I introduced you to him. Last year when they had the Benton Yega, if I'm saying that, Benton Yega, um, from Lamborghini out there, you know, we did a show with them. You met him. You talked with them. Yeah, I don't know him that well. I go, well, here's his number. Tell him you know me. Well, you call him. So I call him. He goes, Steve, I'm in Florida. He says, my, my manager is X. I don't want to deal with a manager. My name, yeah, but we want a car today. So these are what people deal with. They don't tell you that. They just said, well, I just went down the street to ABC dealership, and they didn't give me the money for the car I wanted. I don't know how much it's worth. It's paid for. I think I got a good deal. Oh, sound familiar? So my friend Dan Mudd at American Advisors Group deals with people on reverse mortgages, the Tom Selleck people. And he, he always gives me the quote, you know, he says, you know what, Steve, um, people spend more time planning their vacation than they do retirement. You know, they're going to pay that house off in 30 years. And now uh, some of these taxes in these cities are $1,000 a month, or the condos are $1,000 a month, $800 a month condos plus taxes. And, you, you know, you've got to look at that budget. So now we have the budget. Now we have fair market value. And number three, number three O, make an appointment. Call into our show. Send me an email. Steve, I'm looking for a Maserati. You know, I'm in uh, Oak Lawn. I really don't want to drive up to Schaumburg. Or I'm in Milwaukee. Who do you know in Milwaukee? We know a ton of people. It's one phone call for us. And if that helps you and you go to them and say, hey, I'm a referral. Coming soon, we're going to have a download to where you'll have a piece of paper where you walk in and this is your introduction. AAA does it, AARP does it. Guess what? Talking Cars is going to do it. So not only do you have an appointment, 
you have an official document, and then after you buy, sell, lease a car, whatever you do, I want you to call into our show on Saturday and tell the world how you treated you. Guess what? If they didn't treat you any good, I'm going to drive down the little dealership and say what happened. And I'm going to hear both sides of the story. Well, you know, they only gave me 9000 for the car. Really, what happened? Eh, you know, the tires were gone and needed brakes. Well, yeah, that's, that's a detriment to the vehicle. So I wasn't really happy, but, you know, it was still a fair deal. Well, don't, don't call me screaming and kicking. You lost $1,000 on your car. If you know your car needs $1,000 or $2,000 worth of work, that's what the vehicle's worth. If not, keep it, sell it yourself. There's new companies out there called Car Lots, L-O-T-Z, and you can consign the car to them. All kind of crazy stuff if you want to deal with it. Think about that. So, you know, we can go through and, let's see, um, when you, you before you get there, you might even consider going back to the dealership site. We'll do this. Give us one second. Go back to the dealership site. There's that beautiful orange cord, but I love that car. Everything orange. And right here, you know, go to their site and fill out a credit application. When they do that, it's a soft pull. It's not going to hurt your FICO score. You know, maybe one or two points, if that. Okay, and it probably is bouncing around because of you anyway. And here we'll see what we got up in here next. Um, Fox 32 News. But fill out the application and, and, and talk with the manager or the salesperson up front, uh, Chuck Fioravante at uh, Ziegler Chevrolet, uh, Vinny Novacek up at Maserati uh, Fiat in uh, Grand Rapids. Hey, here's what I have. Um, went through some problems, lost my job, got divorced, uh, stock market tanked. You know, my credit score is, you know, um, 500. If you add all three together, that's a joke. Uh, but, you know, my credit score is 640, and in order to get 2.9, it's got to be 720. So instead of 4.9, it's it's 5.9. Okay, that's life. Deal with it. Call your bank. Call your credit union. And it's not that you're going in armed. You're, you're going in educated. You go out to buy a home. There we go. You go out to buy a home, and the people say, well, I'm going to look at 50 homes before I buy anything. Uh, about the third one, they go, that's it. That's what I'm buying. Well, guess what? If you're not pre-qualified on a mortgage, as my friend Basil uh, Tirabino will tell you from Remax at Home, uh, great Christmas party, Basil, and a shout out to the troops. Um, nobody will talk with you. Now you're talking about a, a $20,000, $30,000, $50,000, $100,000 vehicle. Believe me, you walk into a dealership that has a fifty dollars or $100,000 vehicle, they're going to ask you about your financing. And if they, maybe they know you, maybe they don't. If they know you, you walk in, they hand you the keys, you drive around, you come back. If they don't know you, uh, the Cadillacs, the Volvos at $45,000, dollars $55,000, they're going to get some preliminary information and a copy of your driver's license. Well, I just want to look. Well, if you just want to look, then go to the Chicago Auto Show. Coming up on February 9th, uh, we'll be there. The Soldiers Family TV and Radio Talk Show will be there. And again, subscribe. When you go to our site, an email campaign will pop up. You get one email a month from us, and it'll say, here's what's happening in events this month. We got car shows. Uh, we go up to Volo. We got the Milwaukee Greater Show. Uh, we were just at the Performance Racing Industry in Indianapolis. Uh, Autobahn Country Club. Road America. Sebring we were at last year. Holy smokes, Batman. Uh, Laguna Seca. Circuit of the Americas. Oh, you know, I was thinking about going to that. Well, watch it live. You know, during the week we're at the dealerships, and at the weekends, we're at the track. And, you know, maybe you're looking for a, a spec Miata or an, or an IMCA, IMSA type of car. Join one of these groups, the Windy City BMW Club. Join the a, a Ford Mustang Club of America. 30,000 members. Holy smokes. So these are little things you can get involved with. I mean, even the, uh, the Cruising Tigers Club, the Pontiac Club, is like $10 right now. Deal of the century. And you can go see all these old Pontiacs from old to new, the G6s. The 1965 GTO 389, uh, I mean, it, uh, great stuff, M22 Rock Crushers, and, and these are type of events we're going to send out to you. So there's a ton of information, but we're telling you one, two, three. So how to buy a used car, a new or used car for dummies in 2019, one, two, three, let's come over them one more time. Number one, set a budget. Look at your old car, see what it's going to cost. To fix it, repair it, and keep it going, 
Can you afford it? How is your job? How's your position? Got a new job, need a new car. Get her done. Number two, have a trade in. Go to one of many Edmonds, uh, eBay. See what cars are selling for. But you got to go to Carfax um, or Kelly Blue Book, KBB.com, Cars.com, Drive Chicago. Love everybody at Drive Chicago. All the Chicagoland auto dealers, uh, Indiana, Wisconsin, Michigan. Love Michigan. Shout out to my friends at the uh, La Fontaine group out there. Brian uh, La Fontaine was just on uh, John McElroy's show. That was kind of cool. Uh, 30 dealerships. Pick one. What do you want? So, you know, come in. He might meet you there. And then he'll say, okay, well, let's get your car taken a look at. And then we'll have, you know, Sue Johnson over here take you for a test drive. And when you're done, you have any questions, come see me. Yeah, they're not going to sit with you on every car. There'd be 100 people a month trying to get to see Brian LaFontaine at 30 dealerships. So Brian will introduce you to, and I'm just using that as an example, or Ryan Rorman or Chase Rorman or Marcin or Gene Shankman or Joe Perillo or Dave Mrosek. Hey, th this is our general manager of the store. Uh, we'll go get a cup of coffee. They'll appraise your car, and then we'll have a top number one salesperson go through all the features and benefits of the vehicle. Does that work for you? Yeah. Awesome. Simple. Make that appointment. Get that Carfax on your car. Look at the fair market value, the lowest number of where that car can sell in fair condition. Couple of miles beat up, dings and dings. Not my car. Guess what? Even though the car is on the lot selling for $13,999, uh, $13, they probably bought it between $9 and $11. And you know, those days are gone. There's no more really big hits out there. Uh, we see a couple of dealers where they'll say $25,000 off this car. And then if you look closer, it's a 2016. When it was new, the sticker price was $76,000. I'm talking about the exotics, you know, the, the Callaways, the Roushes, the Salines. And when they were new, they were seventy six. dollars Now they're two, three years old, and it's $25,000 off list price. So you got to look a little close. But find somebody you know, somebody you can trust. That's our whole point about today. And with our website, talkingcars.com. Number one, subscribe to our email. Number two, become a member. One dollar a month, month to month. I hope that really helps everybody out there today. Like I say, I must have gotten 50 plus calls and emails as soon as I got done this morning with the top. And I'll show this back up to you here real quick and we'll play it. We'll keep the sound off. I'll put that back on there. This was this morning and uh, I'll tag that over there real quick. And, and there I am, you know, right at uh, the Honda dealership. And we're just saying, I'll see, I got a little sound. Com. Uh, today we're at Schomburg Honda. Busy Saturday, 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 people here. But I had an event happen to me this week that really made me think, you know, it's not just the people you know, it's a relationship. And, and so, again, you know, brutally honest with you, if you want to hear it, you don't. I know my car is pretty beat up. It's pretty bad. Okay. Now you know it. Sell it yourself. Put it on Craigslist. Sell it for two thousand. Let it be on somebody else's thing. Because number two, in Illinois, you've got to go through an emissions check. So they're going to be asking you, "Will this car pass emissions?" I just found out the state of Ohio does not have emissions checks or certain years go back so many years. So all those figures go into what that car is worth. I hope that's been some help to you, just a little bit. Um, as we come back up here, I want to see more of all the cars, Model 13, Model 19, uh, cars at the Chicago Auto Show as we go up and go in there. Just way too much fun. So we want to say thanks for joining us today on Talking Cars, um, how to buy a new or used cars for dummies and friends in 2019. Remember what we always say, if you can't stand behind our troops, I suggest you stand in front of them. Good night, Chester. Good night, Abby.